Yo, what's up, guys? Um, we got a little video today. Woo! Let's go. All right. Um, so I switched my machine again. I don't know. I had posted in the community tab that I was getting. I don't know. I was getting a little tired of i three. Let's be real. I I probably have used it way too much, and I wanted something new. I'm a tinker boy. You know what I mean? I just like tinkering. And I wanted something that would really, like, scratch that itch for me. And I'm I'm kind of, like, thinking about DWM, right, for a while. And I'm like, ah, I, got, I just got to bite the bullet on this one. I got to do the DWM thing. I had tried DWM in the, in the past, and basically what happened was I got to the point where I wanted to patch in some functionality. Because if you didn't know, uh, to the uninitiated, uh, the way DWM works is... It's missing a lot of stuff that you would normally expect out of a tiling window manager, right? And it expects you to go into their site and, uh, you know, just get the uh, the patches, right? So, like, if I come here to DWM and uh, we go to patches, you know, there's a whole bunch of these patches right here that you can pick and you can add on to, onto the, you know, the functionality, which is really cool. Now there there's one part of it that gets a little um stressy. And that's when you apply multiple patches. You have to do them kind of in a specific order because basically what happens is is you have these patch files, right? And you you apply them to the the uh source code and then you recompile it. So if you have multiple patches that are editing the same line of code, this is just one example of how it breaks. But it, let's say you have two different patches and they're going on to the same line to, to change something. Instead of it, you know, going to the next line and adding something um, in that, you know, little chunk of code or whatever. It, it'll try to rewrite the same line over. And then when you compile it again, something something will break and it won't work. You'll get an error. Um, and that's, that's kind of like a, a, a frustrating part about uh dwm there's people that are wizards and they go through that stuff really great me i'm not I, i'm a wizard but not in that regard you know what i mean <laughs> so i started looking into dwm forks right and there's there's a few of them out there uh it seems to be that uh there's like people who like get into it really hard and they just fork the crap out of it you have instant wm which it actually has its own distro instant os highly recommended by the way that that is if, if you really want to learn about the different things you can do with things like d menu and things like dwm that's a great one to like just you know install on a vm and just poke around in the dot files and and, and figure out exactly what's going on there that's really cool uh downside it's really busy another one chad wm same thing really cool you know you want to go through look look at all the different things that the person did to it. it it it's it's a really well done that's great um me i'm looking for more of a build it on your own experience right so that's why i'm using dusk right we're using dusk it's gonna it's gonna be sick uh <coughs> basically if i can get my uh thing to work if i do a little fast fetch this is what we got going on here. Dusk, right? So, generally, how I go about editing all this uh, and, like, doing your stuff, right? If you go to, uh, I'm going to CD into Dusk, right? And we'll, we'll list. So, basically, you're going to have two files, right? You're going to have this config.def.h. And you have, uh, what you gonna call it? Config.h. And the way that it's supposed to work is you're supposed to do all your changes in here and then copy it to this config.h file. And yeah, but me, I don't do that. I don't, I don't mess with that, right? Uh, I just literally straight up edit the config.h. So if I do, uh, if I'm, I'm going to use Helix to do this, but you can use whatever text editor. You have to be escalated privileges for this, so get, get yourself into root. So sudo hx config.h. And then, you know, your little password. And then, hold on, let me just. The default theme 
hurts my eyes. We'll use this one. Okay. So this is the, the config. It's it's huge. Uh let's let's zoom out just so you can get uh it's a it's a it's a dense config. There's a lot of information here in the comments. I suggest reading it. Like this right here, this is all keybinds. Like basically what like all of this is keybinds. And then you can add even oh wait, there's even more keybinds here too. And then this is all IC I, IPC command stuff. So yeah, let's let's get back into a little a little bigger. All right. So yeah, so let's uh go back to the top. I'll I'll just kind of briefly glaze over uh the different sections of this just to give you a kind of an idea of where stuff is. So up here, this first little chunk right up here, this is gonna be all your borders and uh you know your window gaps and all that sort of stuff. You know, you have your bar height, uh, bar height determinant on the font is what I'm using. So just depending on the size of the font, the bar, bar will get bigger or smaller. It also applies that to D menu, except for I've edited D menu. So the font looks a little bit bigger. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. So yeah, this is like kind of like uh, your environmental appearance variables or however you want to call it. This is uh, indicators, right? So what your indicator is, is if you look here on my workspaces, if I, if I switch between the different workspaces, um, there's a little uh, box that shows that there's something going on with that. Now, you can change this to a bunch of different things. Um, there's triangles, there's large squares, there's small squares, there's like little lines. Uh, that's going to be in the DW, uh, in the dusk, um, whatchamacallit. In their documentation they have a whole page showing all the different ones you can do yeah so yeah there's this and then if you come down i i don't know what this is yet i haven't messed with this yet <laughs> i haven't messed with this yet okay what do we got here oh this section so when i was talking about the patches with dwm they have this thing one patch called flexi patch and what Flexi Patch does is it allows you to apply a whole bunch of patches at once and it'll automatically do it without a break-in. And that's kind of, I'm pretty sure what they have going on right here. And it's pretty cool because they give you all these different patches right here and all you got to do is uncomment them and yeah, you get good stuff. And there's good stuff in here. Like I got the one where it's like, if I have these two windows open, right? Or, you know, whatever, like my mouse cursor will jump between the windows when I switch between them, right? So that's cool. Um, I also got this other one. What is it? This one right here, view on workspace, follow a window to the workspace it's being moved to. So if I take this and send it to nine, it'll just keep this. I, I know I'm on nine now, but it didn't like glitch or anything. It's just it automatically right there. You never lose focus of the window. Very cool. Uh, you know, we put me back on three, but yeah, there's that. We go down a little bit. This is where you do your font. Fonts pretty cool. This is where you theme out D menu. I don't really use D menu so much. Uh, right here, this is where you control the font and D menu. Uh, I'm not using the D menu only because I have this Rofi set up, and I I would much rather use the Rofi um situation. Who knows? Maybe one day if I'm feeling froggy, I'll switch over to D menu because I do like it. I just wish it was centered in the screen somehow. I'm sure I can patch that and make that work. OK, <clears throat> so yeah, if we come down here, this is going to be like all the colors for your actual theme itself. So like how I have this all black and white and I and you know, I have the, the gray highlight color for like whatever workspace I'm on. You know, that's all right here, you know. Um. This section, this is going to be like all your startup applications or scripts or whatever. So like you can put stuff in here and then this is whenever you restart. So if I do uh, mod shift Q, it'll restart dusk. And then, you know, whatever you need to happen to restart when that happens, you can put right here. Okay, window rules. This is just telling you when stuff is floating, when stuff is not floating, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's see. So this is bar. This is when we get into the defining how the bar works. 
So right here, it gives you, a, this is like, what, six different bars right here you can do. It comes with three of them um, in use. And one of the things I didn't like was if I, if I go into floating mode like this, uh, there was a bar across the top. And that was this option, I believe, right here. So I got rid of that. So now it doesn't. And, you know, I, I should say this right now. I had somebody hold my hand to a certain extent <laughs> uh, doing this. Uh, you know, shout out to the homie blank in the discord. Like he, he really like, you know, I asked a couple questions. He gave me solid answers. Good dude. You know what I mean? Love it. But yeah. This this is where you start doing your bar stuff. So that's how I got rid of that. And he's the one that found that out. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to do that. Now, actually, let me uh, get out of floating. Here's where your bar layout is going to happen. And this is this is a headache within itself. Um, I heavily edited this. I deleted a bunch of stuff out of it. It By default, it has stuff in between each one of these. And it's power line and it's literally just triangles to make everything look like it has like a diagonal like tab look to it and i don't really care for that so i deleted all of it i got rid of all the power line crap out, out, of, <laughs> out of the bar and kind of like i'll kind of just give a short brief explanation of how this kind of works i'm not like an expert on this i just know enough to like fix what i needed to fix and get it done but basically you see how this says bar line right and bar line left so from top to bottom is going to be right to left so if you look right here cis tray that's right here the next one um this uh it's it's a it's a sl status thing right that's going to be my time right if i go down to uh what is it this one right here um layout symbol right that gives me my layout symbol right here and if I go down here, this is the workspaces. We got the workspaces right here, right? And then this SL stat, this is, this is all just extra stuff. I just haven't figured out what I can delete and what I can't delete. But then you have like bar line none, like wind title sticky and like flex wind title. That's going to be like these right here. So, you know, you can uh, change the colors of that. You can change whatever, right? So that's the bar. It's a little complicated um but once you like stare at it long enough it, it'll click right and then you got work some more workspace rule stuff here this is your layout section um yeah i don't i don't i don't really mess with this i just kind of stay in like the the master and stack kind of layout like this uh because it, it seems to work good i never do more than this when it comes to tiling like two windows maybe three windows right so the layout doesn't really matter a whole lot to me <laughs> like to be real but yeah that that you could that's where you can do that now here right here this is the section where you're defining your mod keys and stuff uh you know not super important i'll be really real with you and this is kind of a uh little suggestion i'll do so i'm running sxhkd for for my my keystrokes right so the only keystrokes in this config that i actually changed was uh my terminal you know what i mean so all everything else my, it was like my terminal and one other little thing everything else all my other keystrokes are being handled right here and there's kind of a reason why i'm doing that I don't want to come in here and break something because I'm not fully familiar with this file yet. So just to save myself a little hassle, I did this. And, you know, I got everything I would need in here. And then I can just add keystrokes to this whenever I want and then just save it and, you know, super escape. And then the keystrokes are applied and I can just do whatever. And it just it, it's just really easy to type this like this right here is way less typing than trying to type out one of these lines <laughs> you know what i mean so that's kind of one of the reasons why i did that i'm not going to trash on the way they do the keybinds the keybinds look pretty pretty legit uh like just real easy i just don't want to i don't want to use them 
So yeah, I so I, I left them, I left them normal. Let's see, this down here, this is just like clicking on stuff on the bar. Like I want to click here, click there. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then they have this IPC command thing. I haven't fully got into this yet, but I have a feeling this is going to be something that uh, I'm going to nerd out pretty hard on because you can use this for scripting. So like I could script this shit to do like all sorts of weird stuff, right? And then, yeah, so that's kind of uh, a quick, quick, very brief rundown of the configuration file. Um, and then, basically, once you're done editing it, editing it you would, uh, you know, you write and quit. And then here, sudo make install, right? And, or, oop. And then it just compiles it real quick uh fribbity toilet and then basically uh if i do mod shift q it'll restart and apply whatever changes that i made and that's basically the the how you go through doing all that um i'm trying to think what else uh oh so some of the theming things i kind of did i'll just talk about some theming stuff real quick um I found this really cool GTK theme. It's called Acid GTK or something like that, right? It's uh, Acid GTK theme right here. And if I go like this, bada bing. Look, this is Thunar, bro. Like, how good does this look? Like, that's fucking Thunar. Let's go. So beautiful. But yeah. And then, uh, I, you know, I got these icons. These icons are pretty cool. Uh, what, what, what was this pack again? um clarity albus so the clarity icon pack is like actually sick uh and so if i go to uh what is it icon theme all these clarities like if you go here wait you got a blue one you got a gray one you got a dark gray one you got an orange one the orange one's sick dude that looks so good um purple you know you got some good stuff right here I tried downloading some other icons, uh, well, these are like the basic ones, but yeah, this is kind of the one I I, I really like and, I, and I've stayed with, so yeah, that's what I'm, I'm doing with that, and then obviously, as you can tell, I kind of switched up the font a little bit, because I just, I, I wanted something different, you know what I mean, so we're going with the Gohu font, you know, Gohu font, it's like, uh, reminds me of like, like an old RPG on like, a video game or something you know like it's like a retro kind of video game esque sort of font I, I i like it oh let's see what other kind of things so yeah like i'm obviously i'm running the rofi like i said um i just it, it has a great setup i do i will kind of do all the same stuff with d menu at one point uh just to kind of make this cohesive i've just been too lazy to get around to doing it um <clears throat> Oh yeah, so I'm gonna wrap the video up kind of here because I've I've talked and went over this kind of a lot. <laughs> um, I'm I will have way better videos about this stuff uh coming out. I'm I'm gonna reset my laptop up, so like my big laptop. So what's probably gonna happen is we're gonna break out the capture card and I'll just run through like my installation and and how I go about it. Not that I do anything, like, ultra crazy, but, like, I don't know. It's always good to have somebody else uh, run through something and have success so when you're watching it, you feel more confident about, like, what you're doing. And then, also, when you watch a bunch of different videos from different people, you know, you might get, you might pick up a little crumb, a little gem, a little tidbit here and there um, that, like, maybe another person didn't cover or whatever. So... Yeah, I'll be making the videos about this, and then eventually, you know, it's probably going to walk down the road of, like, we'll just use DWM straight up, because you know me, I got to tinker, I got to build it from the ground up, so, yeah, that'll be a thing. We got the Discord server going, as you heard in the recording, uh, we got some stuff popping off, um, yeah, join the Discord, follow me, you know what I mean, like, comment, share, subscribe. Do all the cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I'll check you later. Peace out.